This is Twit. We don't know for sure that Android P is not Pi, but uh, it's certainly not yet. Uh, and so last Wednesday, they kind of you know, started releasing it out. They're doing it a little different this time. It's not accessible through the standard beta channel. So you can't opt into the beta channel and have it installed magically on your phone easily. You have to actually go through the SDK and sideload it with ADB tools, which I did last night, which I took wonder, me way too long huh. because I don't do it very often anymore. Huh. I wonder why they... Is it is it because... Peop, I wonder if it has to do with just keeping people from opting in and because, you know, Pixel's supposed to be like phone for everybody. So keeping people from opting in to sort of prevent crashes and, I'm sure and there's annoying a, user a component reports. component of that. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, I, okay, so I flashed it last night, mm -hmm. went through the process. Was that fun? Did you miss it? Did it give I you some nostalgia? Okay, because no. I thought it was going to be really easy and I actually, th there, there was enough different in the process because I have the Pixel 2 XL and you have to do this other thing. It took me a while to like figure out why I needed to do certain things basically. So it took me far longer Ugh. than I expected to. I just, I stayed up later than I wanted to. I wanted sleep, Google. <laughs> when I decided at 10 p.m. to flash yeah, this I mean, on a whim. <laughs> when when you're like, yeah, I'm, yeah it's 10.30. I can start this project now. I'm and then good the enough thing, at this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, it's 2 a.m. And you're like, oh, I'm yeah. dead. Yeah. <laughs> And, no. it's, and it's We've not like I'm doing there. it on a dummy phone. This is my device. Yeah. Like this Your is my phone. Driver. Good. Yeah. So I'm yeah. taking one for the team, as I as I usually do. I think in in these early uh, beta kind of flashes. So new features. What do we have? I mean, it's a huge list actually. And doing the show six days after the announcement is actually good because after there have the been hype. a lot of extra discoveries. Mm -hmm. There were there were like the the standard things that Google showed off that you saw easily in pictures yeah. when it was first announced, but now we've heard a lot of it's other always things. Always a, fra a, a fragment of the story. Yeah, so I mean, I've got Android P on the device right now. This is this is your home screen. You'll you'll notice as you kind of look at things a little bit, the notification panel is a lot more of a stark white delivery. The the cards aspect of things is is way more pronounced there's no transparency in here things well, look oh look at those rounded you. look at those rounded corners yep you got the rounded corners on my on my right this is, is my the is uh, flows pixel running oreo so o and p and yeah i mean some people are, are criticizing what they're seeing in p because it reminds them of things you see in things like touch Wiz. you know it's getting a little bit it more does. bubbly yeah. I really like the old method. I like the one on my phone currently now. Really? I do. I'm, I'm down with this. I'm resistant I to like change. It. I like mm -hmm. it. But it's so iOS-y. Well, so? It looks like the control pan, uh, the yeah, iOS can, control center or whatever it's I'll, called. It does. I'll that's, see if I can tweak I was my hand up. I was trying to put my finger on what that was, and I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it is, and that's not good. So, oh, man, it's so hard to does hold Does it have to be like blue? This. Uh, here, I'll hand that back to you because my hand. Here, I'll, I'll move. I'll <laughs> bring it up if it's important. All right. So you can kind of see the quick settings. Um, instead of swiping to the side, it's actually does a vertical. Does it not have slider? Slide oh, now. it does. Okay, up there. I uh, got a little, a little alarm quick settings down there. Uh, up at the top, you can see that it's a little bit trimmer. Thankfully, well, I don't know. If, does that date stay there? No, it doesn't. It's only when you have the notification pulled down. But the clock's on the left, no longer on the right. We had heard that that might be happening. That's if my phone had a notch, it would probably be right in the middle there. <laughs> well, now, but fun. now they have the notch friendly uh, designs in B. That's right. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Natively supports uh, display cutouts, whatever those may be, be it notch or any other thing, multi display. Well, why do they have the to move the time? I spent all these years looking at the time on the right. Ever, ever since the first Android yep. phone I picked up. I mean, but even, but again, I will say in my day of using it, I actually really like it over there because All it's right. on its own. Okay. So when I want to look at the time, it's the only thing over there, unless I have some notifications. But this side was just getting filled with stuff. It was. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And and now- That's going to be, that's yeah. going to be weird though, because I feel like the natural, you know- I, I, the drift to the right for whatever reason. It's going to take some training to look to the left yeah. at the time. Yeah. 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 Um, we won't go into my feed because I don't want to spoil that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that looks about is, the does same. Does it look different? Um, well, I don't know because I didn't go over there. Okay, we'll, to, we'll look at it myself. later. And you get little bouncy things. Maybe you see. Oh, I see. Little UI wow, changes wow, wow. there. I can't remember okay. if that was in the other Pixel Wait, launcher or I'll not. I'll check while you're 
but it looks kind of cool when you do it really fast. Um, what else is oh, there? Yeah, oh, yeah, that was there already. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Well, check it out again. It's a nice bounce. Uh, if I hold down the power, you get a new kind of power drop down here. I mean, somewhat similar. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, screenshot. Okay, so if I take a screenshot, I get this. Oh, that's cool. Right? And then I have the ability to edit it. Yay! There's a, there's a built-in editor that's for your cool. screenshots. So it pulls this yeah. up. It gives you your screenshot. You can do things like crop and oh, circle stuff. Oh, thank goodness. Stuff. I don't have to open it in photos. And, and then... there you go. And it saves it. Yeah, go right. ahead and allow whatever. Oh, it's called Markup, So that's huh? that's an app called Markup. So it's not specifically for screenshots, but it's it's leveraging the ease of pulling screenshots in for it. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, editing them, and, cool. and then you can share just that portion or whatever instead of the whole thing or download another app in order can, to do it. Can you press the power button again? Yep. I like Enter Lockdown. Yeah, do you know what that so, is? So, sounds like a Stallone movie. <laughs> Over the top. Yeah. Um, so Lockdown is an extra setting uh, in your security settings. You have to activate it in order to see this on your power menu. And basically what it is, is when I touch that, it temporarily disables the fingerprint sensor. So, y Ooh. you know, from, from a security standpoint... There's all this hubbub about like, well, they can, you know, for you know, if you, if you need to give your phone over to someone, or they can force the you to use your fingerprint. Or I'm in the car. Oh wait, this removes fingerprint. Right. Yeah. So so if I was to if I had to hand my phone over to someone, I didn't want them to have access capabilities through my fingerprint, the thing I have, which you can be compelled to use to, in order to unlock a phone. I could enter lockdown, and now the only way to get in is a pin code. It removes the ability of the fingerprint on the back to open or unlock the phone until you wow. undo it. And now I'm going to go ahead and- like Super lock my, mode. <laughs> put in my password. Yeah, that's pretty much okay. what it is. All right. Uh, there we go. And then I'm back in and we're all good. Okay. Uh, volume. Yeah. Stuff. So you'll notice it's a little bit different here. One of the changes that they made is that- um, the volume rocker now by default controls your media volume all the time. It doesn't control your ringer volume. The reality is how often do we change our ringer volumes? Not very often. How often do we have to yeah. like make an adjustment because we're about to tap yes. on a yeah. link and something's going to play really loud yeah. and we got to go through the convoluted thing to like turn down the media thing. Now your volume rocker adjusts that by default. Or you can mute it. You just go like that's that. A good, it goes that's down. a good change. Finally, it has happened to us. <laughs> right in front of our face. And then, of course, <laughs> this is a way of, you know, muting uh, all that kind of stuff. There is an expanded <laughs> volume wow. thing. But as you can see, it's not giving me anything. So it's a little buggy on my phone. Oh, uh, I think no it's device probably, is found. I wonder if you're paired or if you oh, are. I bet you if I or, had a Bluetooth mm -hmm. thing or connected. Or if you had a dongle yeah. connected through the uh, an aux. Yeah, so I bet, yeah, you're right. That's probably what it would be. Uh, if I go into settings, by the way, shows up there too. It it looks all a little different. Looks definitely looks more touch with, right? Like, this is Samsung. Yeah, this is very Samsung. Oh. Look, look and feel as far as the. I'm not excited. Why? <laughs> Let's see here. I'm gonna go <laughs> in to where is it? There it is. No, I'm already a developer. How do I get that thing up? I want to get the, oh, there we go. Or are you tapping? I'm trying to. Yeah, unlock I, it? Oh, that's right. So tap the P. Okay, there you go. Had oh. to show the Easter egg. Wow. Oh, Austin cool. Powers vibe. Full there on. There you go. Um, behave. I, I don't know if there's any interactivity on it. I don't think that there is. But yeah, it kind of has a, like a, uh, Michael, who's a guest in the studio. What were you saying? Peppermint? Peppermint has a peppermint quality, and it does uh, different kind of color schemes and everything too. I forgot about peppermint. Pea. I know that's Whoa. a great idea. Whoa! Peppermint. Imagine all the marketing around that. Yeah, the that's colors. a good point. And what if it comes? Yeah. And if it comes out around Christmas time? Good no. one. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, it'll be Q3 when it comes out. But anyways, I like that idea. Oh, see, and it's key, it keeps morphing. It's really <gasps> trippy, dude. Oh, my gosh. You guys, does this mean the D-Lite groove is in the heart? Yes. That's the Android marketing. I found it for you right <laughs> there. <laughs> with that, with the slide whistle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call me Google. I have, ans I have some <laughs> ideas <laughs> for this marketing campaign. Android P is on your phone. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so I don't know. You guys had a chance to kind of look through I'm, anything? I'm not touching no? it. And 
Not, no, not with a ten foot pole. I do not mess with beta after what happened with me with okay. Nugget. Oh, Nuga. I should show this off. Let me um let me get to something that won't reveal anything. Um, let's see here. We'll go into take a note. Uh, hello. I'm just gonna push uh, auto complete to make a jumbled sentence. I'm just pushing them, pushing them. Okay, so there's my sentence, right? Hey, man, I'm sorry to hear you are feeling better soon, and I will send you a... That's what my autocomplete did when I hit it randomly. God, that's so weird that it does that. Anyways, um, when you tap to hold and select, it's supposed to give me a little preview above the top. Why is it not doing that? It did it in email. So it's... Apparently, it there is, there is a zoom. There's like a little zoom pop up window that comes over the top. Oh, when you're, that's like iOS. Yes, like iOS. Let me go into oh. an email. It's also like the Note, the Galaxy Note has a similar like functionality. Uh, with this is this is really this is turning into ex from excitement to disturbance. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> okay. I did just another uh, random jumble of auto predict and it says I'm not able to get the kids to get a hold of a few of the things. Oh, uh, that's fair. <laughs> Okay, right. uh, is it going to do it this way? No, why is it not? Why is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can kind of see the the. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually yeah. that's better than iOS, which is the dumb little ma magnifying glass. Which th that's yeah. this is okay. Okay. I mean, it's okay. kind of it, the same thing. It's just a square yeah. instead of a circle. And it looks like it's only in yeah. apps that really rely on the yeah. messaging uh, component. Like Google Keep is not. A yeah, app but that it actually be system with. wide. I mean, if if I'm yeah, if it's fair. if it makes selecting text and copy paste and all that easier, it should be system wide. May, and maybe it is. Maybe I was doing it wrong. I very well could have been. But um, so okay, so there's that. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. Indoor Wi-Fi positioning. Apparently, Wi-Fi round trip time is now in here, so that if you're indoors and your GPS signal is not strong, it can use. Wi-Fi, as long as there are three access points in range, so it can triangulate your location within a few meters. Wow, I wonder how that's going to... And then you can do gonna... indoor navigation stuff. That's yeah, I was going to say, I wonder how that's going to work uh, in suburbia. <laughs> Pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's a lot of Wi-Fi that... Well, yeah. well, now this is closed Wi-Fi, right? This is doing this off closed Wi-Fi access points. Well, it's just doing it, it, it any of the, the Wi-Fi the access points that you happen would. to be connected right, right, to. Yeah, right, yeah, right. as far as I understand. Um, so it's just are, for better location, basically. Yeah, right, indoor. Okay. Like indoor ah, specifically. Ah, indoor because specifically. Because GPS often doesn't work So to help you at the mall, it'll pick up on the Wi-Fi from Auntie Anne's pretzels and yeah, Wetzel's pretzels. Or like the mall-wide and Sparrow. If, if you ever find yourself in a mall, which... Most malls do have Wi-Fi now. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. That makes a lot of sense. Um, there's a lot of... I mean, and this is just like the visual oh, yeah. enhancements, right? And, um, functionality. There's a lot of under-the-hood stuff, for example. Some of the things that we were talking about uh, in episodes before around security on access to the camera and the microphone for apps, they, they will be closed off to that. That's really nice. Uh, there's a restriction for developers who try to use unpublished APIs. They won't be able to do that anymore. They're going to be forced um, to not use those in the apps. Uh, if a developer goes to make an update to their app and they're on and they're updating to a previous version of the API, mm -hmm. they're going to be forced to make it that version, bring it current. That's great to keep the the updates up. Well, up to date. Um, let's see here. It's a running theme for the yeah. last <laughs> yep. years. Support for high efficiency image format, which apparently yeah. Apple supports this on iOS yeah. 11. I'm, I'm pretty unfamiliar as far as what that is, but I think it saves bandwidth, higher quality, uh, low file size, that sort of, I mean, save bandwidth if you're transferring the file over. Yeah over uh, your bandwidth, I suppose. Uh, Multi-camera API, enhancements to battery and dose, of course. Um, backup encryption on the device at lock screen. I have to read up a little bit more to understand that. Um, Which means that maybe it means that it's backing up why, even if, when you're at the lock screen and you haven't unlocked it. Like it's just backing up in the background yeah, rather than waiting for you to unlock it and doing the whole backup thing when you plug it in. I'm not entirely sure. I have to, yeah, that might be Well, we be have it. plenty of time to find out. I mean, I'm sure totally. you're going to be digging more into it. I'm going to be using it. Exactly. That's for sure. Another one <laughs> is this auto rotation um, or screen rotation temporary lock. So see how I'm portrait. I, I changed to uh, landscape. It locks it, but I have this little button down here. 
I can tap that and it'll lock it. That's into, like oh, cool. on the... So that, and that way it'll kind of force it to stay that way for kind of the session, right? Oh, and I And then see. when you're it's ready for it to release... When you're ready to release it, you just tap that and it'll it's release It's like the it. Axon M. The ZTE Axon M has little... Oh, does it have that in... Well, they like pop up so you can change modes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Um, <laughs> Web 1712. Jason, can you say just like Apple does a few more times? I guess <laughs> maybe once. I'm not really quite sure. There are three of us here. We're all saying things, Web 1712. Uh, and then finally, um, I know that I've missed stuff. Uh, oh, improved autocomplete support in Chrome browser. Yep. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because that's been a challenge we'll with Oreo. That's subjective. Anytime there's autocomplete, I'm just like, that's subjective. Well, besides passwords. Yeah. Um, but I like I like en enhancements there. Yeah. What do you guys think? This is this now. This is very early. This is a very early version of this. I, I'm, it's too it's too early. I mean, it's a because I don't have it, so I can't play with it. But from the scene, but like it's it's it seems as if you know a lot of the stuff I read was around the API stuff and the API access, the camera API. Right, which seems very interesting that allows the camera API to access uh, the two sensors if your camera has two lenses in it. Right. Um, which is which is really interesting. I'm curious what they're going to do. But I think that, you know, dev preview one so early, like start making judgments at three. That's, yeah. my, that's my opinion. So, But I mean, it does give you a hint of where they're going from a design perspective. Yeah. Ron Amadio at Ars Technica uh, wrote an article that, that begs the question, is this the beginning of the new design language? We've talked in recent episodes about you know these these rumors that Google is kind of on the cusp of releasing a material design 2.0, let's say, and maybe this is it. It's a little blockier, a little more bold white, you know, uh, cards. You see it in the power at switch and the volume rocker. You see it in the notification cards. Uh, maybe this is kind of the new design language. Somebody noted actually in that Ars Technica article in the comments, it's like one of the most popular comments is that information density just keeps dropping well, on, yeah. on Android. It's just uh, the, the fact that even moving the clock over to the left as we were talking helps alleviate the right side a little bit, kind of makes that a little less heavy. The big bubble, uh, big, big bubble icons, maybe like, you know, Ron and I aren't feeling it for now, but- it does right. add a little bit of a distinction between each different option versus, you know, where you're pressing mm -hmm. on uh, the quick settings, the way they look now. The way that the font is laid out, the way that these panels are being made to be really big and just contain, like, here is a panel and this is the information that you're going to need. It's the only information you need right now. Mm -hmm. But if you look at that lock screen um, that we have on the screen right now from the ours article, it's, uh, it looks very, I mean, it still looks just as busy as, you know, we're used to on the pixel. Mm 